Hello, this is Martin Murphy with your Room 306 News. I'm sorry our cameras are down today, but we had a random velociraptor attack that hindered our ability to broadcast to you. But we do have a report on the field from John Mwangi, Alex Domogowski, Ben Schwanier, and Matt Ellis V. So now we head to John Mwangi here on the field to teach us about conversion factors. His vocal cords were hurt last week in an accident, so we're not going to hear from him at all. I'm going to have to talk you through it. Right now, Mr. Mwangi is walking us through a problem converting centimeters to meters. As he's written on the board, you can see that 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. The only way to really figure out the different conversion factors is to memorize them. Memorizing the different bases is key. Although all of the bases are multiples of 10 of each other, so it's not that hard to figure out. Now John's trying to figure out how many centimeters are in 5 meters, and as we can see, he's very close to the answer. He multiplied 100 by 5, 100 centimeters to 5 meters, and found out that 500 centimeters are in 5 meters. So now we head over to Matt Ellis and Ben Schwanier. Alex Domagowski was not able to work with us because he had to leave class early, but he did work in helping with this problem. With dimensional analysis, you have to choose the starting point. First off, identify the destination, then choose the starting point, then list the connecting conversion factors, then multiply starting the measurement by conversion factors. And then finally, when you get the answer, make sure it makes sense. Matt Ellis and Ben Schwanier are going to work on a problem that I'm going to read to you. Mr. Smith runs a basketball camp at Bishop Bean High School, and he divides campers into teams of five. Each team receives one ball, and the basketballs cost $24 each. If Mr. Smith had 250 players, what was the cost? And as Matt just wrote on the board, the starting point is 250 players. And the destination is the price of the basketballs. Some of it's common sense and some of it you really have to think about. Now we see that Matt and Ben and Alex start with a given of 250 players and then multiply it with one team over five players. Since 250 players is over 1, then you have to put 5 players in the denominator so that they cancel each other out. Now Matt cancels out that 1 team in the numerator in the second term with the 1 team in the denominator in the third term. And basketball's in the numerator in the third term, so it's going to be in the denominator in the fourth one. Now you can see that Matt is making sure that he cancels out the terms by crossing out each one. You don't have to, but obviously the way Matt's mind works, he likes to. After all the canceling out, Matt multiplies all the numbers in the numerator and divides them by all the numbers multiplied in the denominator. And now that we've spent years looking at the problem, we're actually going to start doing some math. And our answer actually works out to be $1,200. So hopefully this video helped you. If not, you can ask any of us. We're experts. And of course, the video ends with a great look at Chuan. Ready?